Hi everyone, this is Yad, and in this tutorial we are going to make image slideshow in AppGyver. I start by going to variables. I will add page variable. It will contain a list of images. So I will call it image list and it's from the type list the list contain objects the object has two properties the first one is the id the default and the second one will be image url The ID will be from type number. And the image URL should be from type image URL. So I'll change the type of the property image URL to image URL type. I will add some images to the list and the ID will be the sequence of the images starting from 1 to 4. You can add of course more than this as the list will be dynamic and contain any number of objects. Let's take this, okay, and the last one. I will take this number three, okay. I will add another page variable, which will will be the index of the image in the list. It will be a number, and the initial value of this number will be one. So the first image will be the first element in the list. I will save this and go back to the view canvas. Let's start building the user interface. I will put an image. I will change the layout of the image, the width and height to be 300 pixel width and 200 pixel sorry for the height and I will make the position in the middle I will add some uh, I'll make the border a little bit uh, rounding And then I will uh, change the source after that. That's it for the image now. I will add a container now. The container will have two icons. I'll change the icon shape to be like the dot, which will be under the image. I start this solid circle. You can select the empty one. I'll change the color to orange and I'll change the layout of the container to be horizontal and put the items in the middle. Also, I'll make it fit to content and the position of it in the canvas in the page to be in the middle of the page okay now i'll make this 
uh, circle to be repeated for each item in the list so I repeat I will bind the repeat with with the image list I have so I will have four circles I will change the uh, gap the right gap to be less than 16 pixels it will be 8 pixels good all right let's save it now I will go to the logic of the icon when the user click the first one it will show the first image and if the user click the second one it will change the image source to the next one so I will change the variable called selected image to the to be the same as the ID in the current repeat so I can do it do this by formula or by selecting the item in repeat and then select the ID let's save and now I will bind the source of the image to uh, the image list and select from the image list the item which has the sequence of the Im selected image variable so I will first select the image list and using these brackets I'll put inside it the selected image variable and as the list starts from 0 till the total number minus 1 I will uh, subtract 1 from the selected image so the first uh, uh, first number will be 0 so if the selected image started by the initial value which is 1 the first image will be the, uh, the, the, the index 0 in the image list let's save and now I will save the project and let's test it on the mobile phone okay let's click nice it's working clicking any of the circles will change the image okay now I, I want the only the selected uh, image and the corresponding uh, circle to be solid circle and others should be empty circles so I'll bind the icon shape to a formula and I'll test if the selected image is the same as the item and repeat the ID of the item and repeat so that's mean that's mean that the corresponding image is now uh, displayed I'll make the shape a solid circle otherwise it will be the empty circle okay let's save it and also I'll change the font size for the empty circle to be less than the solid circle so the same if the item in the repeat is the same as the selected image so the font size will be the same text XXL I 
otherwise I will change the font size now to be text large only which will be uh, smaller than the first one I'll save it and save the project all right let's try it now again very nice it's exactly what we want now you go back to the canvas view what we want is to make the image slideshow automatically changed after a period of time without clicking any of the dots so I will add to the logic of the page two flow functions the first one is the delay so it will display the image for amount of time let's uh, make it five seconds and after five seconds it will change the variable which is selected image to be the next one I'll go to the formula and to go to the next one I'll uh, select uh, I'll change the variable to selected image plus one but I should be ensure that the displayed image or the selected image variable is not uh, bigger than the total number of items inside the list so first I'll check if it's less than the count of image list and this give me the total number of items in the list so I will go to add it uh, plus one it will be selected image plus one else if it's uh, the same as the count so we reach the image number four so I will go back to number one that's the, this is the meaning of uh, if statement so if the selected image is 1 2 3 it will go up one and if it's 4 it will go back to the uh, to the first image now i will repeat this again and again so it will display the next image delay for five uh, seconds and then go to the next one I'll save it and let's let's try wait very good it's working and automatically it's showing the next one and let's see if we reach the last one it should go again to the first one nice that's it okay now I'll go back to the logic and I'll, uh, I'll add now some user friendly uh, movement between the images I'll install the animate component flow function I'll search flow, uh, the flow function market and I will install the animate component flow function I will add two flow function to the logic the first one will make a kind of uh, after, after showing displaying the image it will make uh, a fade out so the image will be uh, fade out after five seconds and then I will change the image source to the next one and show it by fading it in so first one will be the fade out I'll change the duration to 300 milliseconds and then I'll change the selected image 
to the new one and then we will trade this in save select the animation to be fed in and change the duration to the same as the fade out to 300 and then go back to the delay and this will repeat, be repeated let's save and test nice this is better now very nice okay I have a trick here not to make any any problems when the images are fading in and fading out I'll make a delay to ensure that the new image is not being displayed until the first one is completely fade out so I will make a little delay after fading out the first image and test it on the mobile and this will be better you can check it by yourself and see uh, if you want to increase the delay or decrease it so it will be better according to the type of the wife on your using good so now let's assume that if the user clicked any of the dots uh, let's say after four seconds it will go then to the next one after only one second so I will add also when clicking the icon a delay after ch changing the image so in this way it will show the image uh, at least for one second and then go to the next one let's test our last version of the slideshow it's really nice and it's completely perfect I think that's it I hope it was helpful for you and see you in the next tutorial